Hello dear students, let's study limit superior and limit inferior of a sequences. This is Srimati Ashwini S, Assistant Professor of Mathematics. Limit inferior of a sequence. Let a n be a bounded sequence. The least limit point of a n is called the limit inferior or inferior limit or lower limit of a n. That is, we would be having a limit point for a sequence. We would be taking the least point out of it. It is denoted by limit n tends to infinity inf of a n which is equal to limit underscore n tends to infinity a n. The next definition is limit superior of a sequence. Let a n be a bounded sequence. The greatest limit point of a n is called limit superior or superior limit or upper limit of a n. That is again. A limit points would be found for a given sequence. We would be taking the highest or the greatest value. It is denoted by limit n tends to infinity supremum that is SUP of a n which is equal to limit upper score n tends to infinity a n. Let's see a few conditions here. If a n is unbounded above then limit n tends to infinity supremum of a n would be equal to infinity. If Sequence a n is unbounded below then limit n tends to infinity infimum of a n will be equal to minus infinity. Limit n tends to infinity supremum of a n will always be greater than or equal to limit n tends to infinity infimum of a n. Again limit infimum of a n is nothing but minimum values of a1, a2, a3 and so on a n and limit supremum of a n would be equal to maximum value of a1, a2, a3 and so on a n. Let's consider a few examples. First problem is the sequence is given as minus 1 raised to n. We know the only limit points for this are minus 1 and plus 1. We get minus 1 when n is odd. We get plus 1 when n is even. Now, according to the definition, limit n tends to infinity, infimum of a n should be the least value or the lower value which would be minus 1 and limit n tends to infinity, supremum of a n should be the maximum value or the greatest value which is plus 1. Now, in the next problem, we have a constant sequence k. So, since it is a constant, both are infimum value and supremum value of the sequence remains the same as the problem which is k again a constant. Now, let us study few theorems. A sequence a n converges to L if and only if, if limit supremum will be equal to limit infimum of a sequence and that should be equal to the limit L. Now let the sequence a n converge to L then we would be using the definition then given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer m such that mod of a n minus L is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m. This implies L minus epsilon is less than a n less than L plus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m. Since the neighborhood L minus epsilon comma L plus epsilon of L contains a n for infinitely many values of n and since epsilon is arbitrary therefore every neighborhood of L will contain infinitely many terms of the sequence a n. Therefore, we have shown that L is a limit point of a n. Now, we shall show that L is the only limit point of the sequence a n. Let L dash be any number other than L. Then, we have two cases. Either L is less than L dash or L is greater than L dash. Suppose L is less than L dash. Let us consider P, Q, R to be three numbers such that P is less than L which is less than Q, less than L dash and that is less than R. Suppose A n tends to L. Therefore, every neighborhood of L will contain A n for all except finitely many number values of n. In particular, 
let a n belongs to p comma q for all except finitely many values of n so this implies the neighborhood of q comma r of l dash contains a n for almost finitely many values of n this implies that l dash cannot be a limit point of a n similarly we can also show that l greater than l even n is greater than l dash l dash is not a limit point of a n therefore l is the only one point of sequence a n hence we can conclude that limit n tends to infinity supremum of a n is equal to limit n tends to infinity inf of a n that's equal to l that is limit superior is equal to limit inferior that is equal to the value l conversely suppose limit n tends to infinity superior of a n is equal to limit n tends to infinity inferior limit of a n is equal to l let epsilon greater than 0 be given since we all know l is a limit point of a n therefore a n less than l plus epsilon for all values except for finitely values of n this implies there exists a positive integer m1 such that a n is less than l plus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m again since l is limit inferior of a n we get a n is greater than l minus epsilon for all except finitely many values of n this again implies there exists a positive integer m2 such that a n is greater than l minus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m2 let m is equal to maximum of m1 comma m2 so combining those two we can write l minus epsilon is less than a n less than l plus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m now using the definition this can be written as mod of a n minus l is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m this implies a n tends to l or a n converges to l let's solve few problems find the limit inferior and limit superior of the sequence 1 3 5 1 3 5 and so on now this a n can be written in three different terms the value becomes 1 if n is equal to 3 m minus 2 it becomes 3 if n is equal to 3 m minus 1 and it becomes 5 and if n is equal to 3 m now when i find the limit inferior value that is nothing but minimum of 1 3 5 and you know it is 1 when we find limit superior limit value it should be the maximum of the 3 which is equal to 5 so the next problem is find the limits inferior and limit superior of the sequence a n is equal to minus 1 raised to n into 1 plus 1 by n so you know when n becomes even the value becomes minus of 1 plus 1 by n and when n is even it is 1 plus 1 by n and when n is odd it is minus of 1 plus 1 by n so limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to minus 1 if n is odd and limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to plus 1 if n is even the two limit points which we would be getting are minus 1 and plus 1 therefore limit n tends to infinity limit superior would be equal to the maximum value which is plus 1 and limit n tends to infinity limit inferior of a n would be the minimum value of 1 and minus 1 which would be minus 1 thank you dear students